Well, I have <coughs> decided against making the wattle fence and actually using the cane. I think I'm going to save the cane for another project that I've got in mind. I have two of these uh, that I had purchased, what, two years ago, I guess now, to go up underneath uh, the floor where the insulation was, but then we decided to use the radiant barrier. So, um, I think I'm going to go, this is a 150 foot coil, I've got two of them. I'm going to go ahead to conserve time because I need to get this planted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this up and then I'll get some of that uh, slab wood, go across the top and I'll go across the bottom and that will keep any critters out of the garden. Um, I would really like to have the wattle fence but uh, that's, it's a very time consuming job and I'm, I'm running a little bit behind so I'm going to go ahead and put this up and uh, like I said use that uh, slab wood so that I can get this garden planted. Well, I've actually got the fence up around the garden now. That's uh, a good feeling, although I need to cut in a gate at least. I got an opening on this end and that end down there, um, but I'm just going to do this end right here so that I can get in there and plant. Um, I've still got to cut up some 1x4s to go on the top and on the bottom. I'm going to screw those into the post. Um, but yeah, I've got that up and that'll keep uh, rabbits and um, the dogs and things like that out of there. So then the other thing that I just now thought about after I looked up there, um, that great big poplar tree up there at the sawmill, I'm going to have to cut it down. I forgot all about it. So now i got the fence built. we have got the outhouse over there and the tree is going to have to come down between them. Now the limbs aren't too big and too wide I believe I can drop it right down in the middle, um, but that's what's going to have to happen. So if I hit the corner of the fence, we'll just have to repair it. But uh, 
anyway, yeah, I'm ready for planting and I'm excited about getting those plants in the ground now that planting season, it's here right now. So that fence, we got it up just in time. Smokey, what are you doing? I guess you can tell warmer weather is here. I got my knockarounds on and I'm gonna plant this afternoon. So what I'm doing is basically um, aerating or busting up uh, the dirt a little bit finer. And I'm gonna get ready to plant a lot of the plants that I have already purchased. Um, when I get those planted, I'll find out how many more I need and I'll go get some more. But uh, had to make myself a way in. I've got another opening to build on the far end uh, later, but right now I just need a way in and out of it. So um, I made quick use of some of those um, bands, that strapping that you get material in. I saved those because they're really heavy duty. 
So I put those in, they should last a good while. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rake and get in here and get this dirt loosened up and get it ready for planting. Y'all hear that 
So in the background, that is my neighbor. I went and cut some trees for him that were gonna fall on his house. And I used my big 250 foot cable and uh, it, the trees when they fell down, because we had to I take four or five of them down, I really don't remember, but uh, now the cable's laying under them. So he's having to work his way into the cable to get to it because I need it to cut down this huge poplar tree. I'm gonna have to winch it off to be able to um, drop it where I need it. Anyway, that is the chainsaw in the background. What we're doing now is planting potatoes. Um, the, like the Idaho potatoes. So this whole bed right here is nothing but potatoes. I couldn't pass it up. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm hoping that this gets a good soaking.
Well, I've worked pretty much all day um, putting this hay on all the different garden beds that I have. My sister asked me, was there a chance that there was any trash in there that could start seeds uh, of weeds that could grow? And I said, absolutely. Um, and I would prefer to have straw, but uh, when I looked it up um, on the internet, that hay is absolutely wonderful for gardens, that they will really thrive. It's not pretty to look at. But um, I know even if you have straw, you're bound to get um, seeds in there. But uh, I think that I'll just be satisfied with pulling those up as opposed to spending all that extra money because that round bale is actually going to waste. When he took the horses out, he had just brought that bale and it's been laying down there over a year. And like I said, just going to waste. So I didn't see any reason for that to happen when um, I could possibly improve uh, the retention of the water in the garden. So hopefully now with this hay down and if it rains maybe I can retain some moisture in there a couple of days uh, until it would rain again. So it's a whole lot better I think than it was without it. I tell you what the blackberries, let's see there's one, two, three, four of them have shoots up about this high now. Um, so they are really taking, I got them transplanted just in time when the weather was still cool before it turned off warm. Um, they're taking root really well. So I am hoping that this fall I might have just a few uh, blackberries that I could eat. But, you know, if I don't, that's okay because I know that chances are it will probably be next year. But, um, yeah, as that grows roots, I intend on extending the fence line all the way down to the outhouse as those roots and those little shoots pop up, I'll dig them up and transplant them. And hopefully I can get a rail going all the way down there. That would be really nice to have that many blackberries. Okay, so we've got uh, lettuce on this end right here. And then I've got some pepper plants on the back side and on the far end because there's probably six different kinds of peppers. And then I planted some beans earlier. Um, in this row right here about a half a row of beans and then the upper row Jennifer and I we planted potatoes in it if this hog works out good uh, and next year probably what I will try to do is raise some corn uh, somewhere I'm gonna have to get a plow for the tractor but uh, if we're going to continue to raise hogs what we're gonna have to do is try to figure out ways that we can um, you know feed the animals that we have without having to dig down in our pocket and um, come up with the feed for them. But I'm really glad that I got all of these gardens uh, covered, especially since it's supposed to rain a hundred pennies worth tomorrow. So I'm hoping that they get a good soaking all day and that should make them really pop out. So yeah, I think I put that um, big round bale of hay to good use. And I've still got, look at that, I've still got that much left. So I'm saving that because as it does rain and settle, it'll get thinner, and I'll add some more to it. Um, but yeah, there wasn't any point in that going to waste when I could actually use it up here. Well guys, we certainly hope that you enjoyed that video. I'll tell you what, getting everything ready to plant uh, at the right time is a big chore, but the dividends pay off quite well. Anyway, we hope that you enjoyed that video. My son, my daughter, and I, we can't thank you enough from the bottom of our heart for supporting us on both of our channels. So if you're new here, be sure and go check out Outpost Review. That's our uh, behind the scenes vlog on what's going on up here at the cabin. Anyway, we hope that each and every one of you have a great afternoon. You all take care. And we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.